Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Why do you want to predict all the teams next seasons for football when the Super Bowl just ended like a month ago? Well, hear me out. My friend Luke Newman made this podcast about where quarterbacks are going to go, and I thought it might be a good idea because my YouTube channel is not the best thing in the world right now. So, yeah, shout out to him, and hope you enjoy. This is a podcast. That's why there's no... And nothing you can see. Okay, but first team, I'm gonna start with uh, first. I'm gonna start with the NFC. Okay, so I'll start with the Vikings division. Vikings. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Delvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen might get a new QB. Hopefully, get a new QB. Anyway, um, yeah, they're a really good team. They just need a new QB. Wait, if they stay with Kirk Cousins, then I'm going to say they're going to ha- go 6-10. and 10. I'm kidding. That's way off. They're going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. But if they get a new QB, they have a chance at going 10-6, and 11-5, or 12-4. and four. So that is for the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the Green Bay Packers. Everybody knows, yes, they're a great team. Some people like them, some people don't. Let's put in the categories. But, hear me out. They got Aaron Jones, Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers, and a lot more to name. So, I'm just going to keep them at 13-3 and three because they're probably going to get that record. Okay, Detroit Lions. Um, well, DeAndre Swift did really good last season, and now they have Jared Goff. So, I'm going to put him at an 8-8, eight and eight because that's really all I can do. Yeah. Anyway, now moving on to the Chicago Bears. Well, they don't have a QB as of right now, and... Yeah, that's basically it. They really don't have a lot except Kyle Mack. So I'm just going to... Somehow they made the playoffs this or last year, this year, whatever. But, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to keep them at 6 and 10. That's really where they're going to be. Okay, moving on to Saints Division or whatever team you want to name. Okay, so the Saints... Saints. Well, they're not have Drew Brees anymore, but Jason Hill did really well. Why did they not have Drew Brees? Why did Drew Brees retire? I cannot answer that. But Jason Hill, whoever the QB they get, good for them. But they have Elvin Kamara, and oh my gosh, he should have been the MVP this season. Or he is. I can't remember who it was. I haven't announced it yet. I didn't look into it. Anyway, but yeah, and then they have Michael Thomas, who really didn't do that good at all but yeah basically they have elvin Kamara, and that's all they need to have a good 12 and 4 season so yeah that's all i'm gonna say anyway now we have the tampa bay buccaneers well they just won the super bowl yes they have tom brady yes they have from Grom- rob gronkowski yes so basically what you're trying to tell me is that they're going to make the Super Bowl again? No, that's not what I'm trying to tell you. They're going to make the playoffs, but they're not going to make the Super Bowl again. I just I feel that. Okay. Their defense really, like, went up a lot, like, became a lot better. So, well, I'm just going to say that they're going to have a, like, uh, probably a 9 and eight season or no that's off no nine and seven jeez i did my math wrong i'm sorry but anyway um moving on to the atlanta falcons yeah atlanta falcons um well julio jones yeah matt ryan did not really do that good this season kelvin Ridley, wow um all i really have to say is six and ten for them moving on to I'm sorry, I forgot what team it was. Give me two seconds to think. Two seconds. 
Okay, it'll come back to me. I'm sorry. Um, moving on to the Seattle Seahawks. Well, Russell Wilson really wanted to become a free agent for some reason. And that's really all I have to say. Actually, that's not. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett. Decent running backs. Um, Actually, Chris Carson did amazing. Um, Yeah. Yeah, 13 and 3. Okay, anyway. Um, moving on to the Rams. The Rams. Um, well. The Rams. Yeah, my favorite team are the Seattle Seahawks. And I'm pretty mad at them right now. But now that they have Matthew Stafford, they have some opportunities. I'm going to go with 10 and 6. And that's not really all I have to say about them. They have Cooper Cup. Yeah, he's good. Aaron Donald. Yep, also good. And well, that's it that I have to say. Just kidding. They're running back. Wow. Versus the Seahawks in the playoffs. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, with them, I mean, with him, they can do some things. That's why they're going to get a 12-4 and record. And the 49ers. Well, if it's really true that Jimmy is going to go, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to go to the Patriots, and I have no idea what... They're going to do without QB. Just kidding. They have George Kittle and some defensive players that I cannot remember. I've never done a podcast. Do not get mad at me right now. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to give them a nice 8-8 eight and eight record. That's really it. But anyway, um, now the Cardinals. Yeah, the, Russell, the reason why Russell Wilson sucked for half of the season. <gasps> anyway, um, well, Kyle Murray's amazing. Now, and wow, DeAndre Hopkins really took a step forward. Just kidding, that's not the exact same level that he was, but that's still a great level. Anyway, um, and yeah, the only thing that is pictured in my head right now is when that defensive player intercepted it, and DK ran like a freaking beast at 22 miles per hour and caught and got that guy. Buddha by fear, I think that's his name. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna give him a pretty clean nine and seven record seems pretty reasonable for the cardinals anyway yeah i still don't remember what the saints division guy is but it'll come back to me just trust me don't get mad at me it'll come back to me anyway um the giants well they beat the seahawks they did pretty well the qb for some reason did very well um uh, but they're just going to stay at 6 and 10 like they do every single year. Washington, no name. Anyway, um, Alex Smith, and nobody. So I'm going to go with mm, 4 and 12. Yes, I know they beat the third week good Steelers for some reason. But anyway. Oh, the team came back to me. Okay, now I'm going to the Panthers. Um, well, the Panthers. They lose. Wait, no, they don't have Cam Newton anymore. Oh, my mind. Teddy Bridgewater. Okay, um, well, yeah, he did fine. That one wide receiver with the crazy hair. He did pretty good. And, um, Christian McCaffrey was pretty much injured for the whole entire season. But with Christian McCaffrey back, he's going to want some payback. So I'm going to give him a 9 and 7. But that's really it. Just 9 and 7. But, okay, moving on to the Eagles. The Eagles. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm silent right now. And you, you know why? There's not really anything to say about them. So. I'm going to have to go with 4 and 12. These predictions might be very off. They're pretty stupid predictions. But that's okay. I'm basically just saying random words. Anyway, I know facts about football, so don't close out of this right now. I know facts about football. I know how teams act. I've seen pretty much all their games. Anyway, back to the podcast. Um, Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott will be back after that crucial injury. Um... And, yeah, that's 
really all I have to say right now. Anyway. Oh, yeah, they got CD Lamb, some other wide receivers, and some defensive players. And Zeke, and Zeke, who literally is horrible in that game. I mean, that season. Because he fumbled way too many times. So their division's going to suck again. And I'm going to give them <clears throat> a 7-9 and nine record. That's probably the <clears throat> reason that they're going to get in the playoffs. So moving on to the AFC. Well, I might as well just start with the Chiefs division. Um... Well, they really sucked in the Super Bowl. Yeah, really sucked. But Patrick Mahomes, yeah, he's amazing. Tyreek Hill, yeah, he's amazing. Travis Kelsey, yeah, he's amazing. They have like five defensive players that I can name, but I'm not going to just, just settle this with a 14-2 and two record. Okay, anyway, um, you know, the Oakland Raiders, they beat the Chiefs. Surprising. Their tight end's amazing. Surprising. Derek Carr didn't do bad. Surprising. They surprised us this year. All right. They're not the Oakland Raiders. If I said Oakland, I'm sorry. They're the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, well, but anyway, I want to give them a nice 9-7 and seven record. Okay, moving on to the Chargers. Um, Justin Herbert, I guess. Yeah. Joey Bozo, or... Whatever. Anyway, um, well, let's just say they're gonna get their four and twelve record like usual. Broncos, yeah, Broncos. Okay, well, we got like a trio of QBs going that are all pretty bad, but um, and I don't really have anything else to say. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to go with three and thirteen. Anyway, um, yeah, moving on to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They had a chance at being undefeated for the whole entire season. They had a chance at winning the Super Bowl and having some seven Super Bowl rings. I mean wins. Tom Brady has rings and wins. Anyway, um, and then they lost to the Washington Redskins, which was a, I mean, not Redskins, I'm sorry. I'm so used to calling them that. The Washington must not say name. Yeah. Um, and then they just fell apart, basically, and then lost to the Browns in the first round of the playoffs. So that's basically all I have to say. Yeah, they have really good players, but, you know, I'm just going to have to give them that 10 and 6. Just kidding, I'm going to have to give them that 8 and 8. Anyway, um, moving on to the Browns. The Browns, yeah. Baker Mayfield had an amazing season. Ozell got hurt and really did nothing before that. Well, there's not really a lot of people to name that did a lot. I mean, everybody did a lot. But I, there's not really any big players except, um, I think Chubb. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just going to have to go with another 10-6 record. Somehow they're going to do it. Anyway, Baltimore Ravens. Um, well... This season was stupid. I mean, <laughs> Lamar Jackson got COVID, and then he fell apart, and then they beat the Titans in the playoffs. But, yeah, Lamar Jackson, some other people, Mark Andrews, I think is his name. Anyway, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to give him a 12-4 and a four because Lamar Jackson's really good. Um, Cincinnati Bengals, well, there's not much to say. Let's just... Throw it out here. 3 and 13. Clap. Anyway. Okay. Titans. Who lost to the Ravens the first one in the playoffs, which I'm still mad about because I like their team. Anyway. Ryan Tannehill. AJ Brown. And Derrick Henry. Anyway. um, Yeah, I think they're going to have a 10 and 6 season. I know I'm saying so many teams are going to do good this season, but on it. I mean next season. Um, but honestly, I think they're going to. I haven't named a single seven and nine. Whatever. Anyway, um, Houston Texans. Well, yeah. They sucked this season. They sucked this season. Really bad. And Sean Watson. Yeah. 
But why in the world did they trade away DeAndre Hopkins? Anyway, away from them, I am going to give them a 7 and 9. Because I think they'll do something. Maybe. Anyway. Um. Well, the Jacksonville Jaguars. A moment of silence for me. Because I really don't like them. And now they're going to be 15 and 1. Because of Trevor Lawrence. Fun. Yeah. I think you heard enough from me. Indianapolis Coats. Well, now that Philip Rivers is gone, that kind of sucks for them, and that's the only reason why they did any good. T.Y. Hilton. Eh. Eh. I'm going to have to give him 7 and 9. About the playoffs. So. Yeah, this is. Okay. Miami Dolphins. They should have made the playoffs. We should have made the playoffs. That's fine. I think. Anyway. Um, I do kind of like, I mean, I like the Miami Dolphins. Like, I do. But there's not really that much to say about them. Except they're running back to really good. Anyway. I'm going to have to give them an 8-8. Eight and eight Because I, don't, I think that was one season for them. And I don't think it's going to happen again. Sadly. But anyway. Well, let's just go to the Jets. The Jets, yeah. The two and... I mean, no. The three and 13 Jets, right? Okay. Anyway. The only team that's stupid enough to pass an opportunity to get Trevor Lawrence. The Jets. The only team that Trevor Lawrence didn't want to go to. The Jets. I think I've said enough. Moving on. I'm kidding. One and 15. Moving on. New England Patriots. Yeah, New England Patriots. Well, if they really want to get rid of Cam Newton, they can do that. And get Jimmy G, that's fine. Julian Edelman, I don't know if he wants to retire or not, but I think he already did or something. But wow, do they need to rebuild now that Tom Brady's gone. Yeah, I've said enough. Um, Six and ten, you yeah, know, basically. Yeah. Okay, and for our final team. For our final team, why do I have to forget the freaking team that I'm... Oh! I'm sorry. There's a reason that my YouTube channel is not that long. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember the fourth team in their division? Uh, my God. Somebody help me. I'm kidding. Oh, come back to me. Just give me two seconds. Yep. And you can close out of the video. Yeah, you definitely can if you want to. Two seconds to like remember. But I don't want to. Why can't I freaking remember? Okay, so you're going to get one team. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna like quickly. I'll just tell you in the comments, okay? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the podcast. No, it wasn't the best thing in the world. It was kind of me just going crazy over myself. But I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. I really just want to build a decent YouTube channel. And I'll try to make an intro as soon as I can. And again, shout out to Luke New- Newman for giving me this idea. So, but when I get the team back. Don't worry. I'll get it to you in the com Oh my god, the bills. Okay, never mind, it came back. Um well yeah. For them, they did really well this season. And shouldn't have beat the Colts, but whatever. Um uh, just yeah. Josh Allen's good. Stefan Diggs did amazing. That one defensive dude did amazing. Always and Twelve and four. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and again shout out to Luke Newman. Bye.